my name is Ashley. I'm 32 years old. Um, I ended up in Kensington because I had a long life struggle with being molested and abused as a child. Um, it led to me doing drugs, being beat by my father. My father's also an addict. I had a normal home life except for, like, my father was molesting me. And me and my mother didn't have it. They're like, there was physical abuse from her. Well, from the time I was like six, and then it stopped for a few years, and then it, it ended, started again, I guess when I was like 12. 12 to like 15, and then I, I, uh, I left home when I was 16. Do you tell anybody about the abuse? Yeah, when I, when I told my mom, it was like, like they forgot about me, and they were focused on the family, my mom, my mom and dad got into therapy, and they sent me. I had to go to like another therapist in another building, another place, and I don't know. It was just weird how and my family, like they're more focused on repairing. Parents are focused on repairing their marriage. I guess they feared that it, you know, was going to break up it, because of me telling my mom about it. You know. Understood. You know, my mother was an addict, and. I suffered with a lot of pain from that. You know, I was raped when I was seven years old. And I was um, sold to a drug dealer when I was 11 for my mother's habit. Every day I was portrayed to be somebody's wife as a child, you know? Um, it just hurts to know that a man could wake up every day and know that it was okay to penetrate a child and act like that they was, I was his wife. What I mean, just to make sure that my mom had what she had, you know, and um, I feel like it messed up for my kids because now I can't be a mother to my children. And I'm out here in these streets, and it hurts, and I'm by myself. And both my parents is gone, and I have nobody. But the streets, you do build a family. You do. You build a family with people that love you and care for you and treat you like they're your own. Yeah, my, my my father, he did 11 years for raping me and my sister when we were children. He got out of jail after doing 11 years and overdosed on heroin and died. When my mother found out what was going on, she committed suicide. So pretty much my grandmother and my grandfather took care of me and my sister from the ages 12 and up. So then, from then on, it was okay because I have a good family. It's just... My, my parents, they were, they were messed up, you know? Um, my parents, they got divorced when I was four. Um, we lived with my mom, we saw my dad on the weekends. My dad never wanted me around because I was a girl. He was an alcoholic. And then he would pop up here and there, take me to Florida, do this or do that. I started drinking because my dad, I would go to his house on the weekends and he would, um, like, when he would want me to come, he would give me beer here and there, and I would steal his weed pipe, smoke weed, and then I got into pills, and then the pills, after they didn't work anymore, let me to dope, and that's where I'm at now, and I can't get off of it. I go to detox, I leave detox, I can't take the sickness, and I just have been on drugs since I was 15 years old. Um wasn't good. Um, fuck. Well, do the best uh, you can. My mom and dad both uh, were on drugs. My dad sold drugs. Um, he went to jail. She was never there at all. Uh, my grandma raised me. And when I was five, I moved to Warminster and then came back down here when I was 12. What are some of your favorite childhood memories? I don't have any at all. Growing up as a teenager, how was your life like? It was kind of difficult. Um, I ran away and moved to with my dad after he got out of jail. And um, he 
he wrote me and so that's why I'm kind of on drugs.